Hello guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I will do a ranking for the worst K-pop releases of 2021. I will make a disclaimer and say this is only my opinion and it's based on my personal preferences. Don't make it a big deal out of it it's just for the shake of the video. And because I didn't like a song, it doesn't mean I don't like the artist by any means. Now with that being said, please look forward to more exciting videos coming very soon. Now let's get started. Team in with advice. I'm so angry with myself that I put this in, but I have a love-hate relationship with this one. I absolutely love the bridge, but on the other hand, the rest of the song feels too repetitive, and I'm not sure that I enjoyed the tone of the song overall. Still the bridge is very good and I could hear only that and be happy. Blue by one ho. I don't this this is that bad. It's just way out of my style and I just really got bored hearing it. Also I didn't find anything that interesting in the song. And it's definitely my least favorite song from him. But I still appreciate that he showed a different side of him with this. NCT Dream with Hello Future. Okay what I liked in the song was the chorus was I liked the positive energy. But I would have liked if they kept that concept throughout the song. And even thought I liked the rap verses. Most of them didn't match with the song. Just too much going on overall. A B6 with Stay Young. This song was very forgettable. Even though it has strong instruments, it didn't have any catchy phrases. And I think other than the chorus everything else was filler lyrics. I can see potential in this one with a few changes, but they have way better tracks than this one. My love is like water. Like Water by Wendy. This being her official debut song was a bit disappointing. Of course I really liked your voice, but the flow of the song was boring. I didn't see a pick and it really needed one. I felt that this was a bit incomplete, even though I know it could have been so much better, especially for her debut song. I wanted to see more. <laughs> Don Don Dance by Oh My Girl. I know I'll get a lot of hate because of this, as many really like this song, but for me it wasn't it. First of all you all know I'm very picky with cute theme songs, as I'm not the biggest fan of them, so this was really difficult for me to hear. I didn't like the rhythm nor the chorus, it's like I'm hearing the same thing over and over again. I think they knew it would be catchy, but for me it's the annoying way of a catchy song, sadly. Don't keep my love on the low, keep my love hoodie with a ponytail, girl I'm wishing I can read your mind. Lolo by Tan and Yang Yang of Wavy. Okay you all can't judge me for this one, everything else okay I'll accept it, but this one, you need to understand me. This got so repetitive, and I swear if I hear this song one more time I'll go insane. I mean I like the idea of them releasing songs as a duo, but this is not it. It's literally the same thing replaying and I can't stand it. It feels like it was a really rushed song. Super Junior with House Party. This song really sounds like something I have heard before. It sounds like a remake. And in the start I was okay with it. But after the chorus I'm just questioning the existence of everything in there. The rap verses were so uncalled for, they didn't fit the song at all, and I'm still confused on why they put them in to begin with. BM with 13 IVI, I really wanted to like his solo stuff, 
as I enjoy his music with Card, but this sounds very old and it's repeating itself constantly. I didn't enjoy the sound of it and I found it a bit annoying. I think we could have seen something a lot better than this from him. Even some nicer instrumentals would have been good. This felt below average. Stinker by NCT127. I really wouldn't have believed myself if I was told. I would put this as my number one of the worst K-pop songs last year. And to be honest now I have somewhat grow into the dosing. Still I don't like it. But it's not that annoying. But I put it first as it was the biggest surprise. I liked the chorus. But the instruments are horrible and they used to give me a headache. I'll probably never hear of this again. But it was a total sock for me as I really enjoy their discography. So these were the 10 worst K-pop releases of 2021. Of course it's only based on my opinion. And you can always disagree. Make sure to leave a comment down below with your recommendations for my next videos. Also Happy New Year guys. Always stay safe. Thank you for watching. And until next time, bye.